Earlier this year, Russia fired a shot from its newest and most dangerous weapon from the cockpit of a MiG-31 fighter jet. When the hypersonic missile Kinjal ignited its rocket engines and soared through the sky at speeds of up to Mach 5 towards a target in Ukraine, it marked the first use of hypersonic weaponry in a conflict. Kinjal and similar missiles are at the forefront of the technological revolution in weapon development. These hypersonic devices can reach speeds of up to Mach 10, but more importantly, they are highly maneuverable. Existing ballistic missiles fly faster, reaching speeds of up to Mach 20 when flying high above the Earth's atmosphere, where less resistance slows them down. However, to achieve such speeds, ballistic missiles fly along predetermined arcs like a cannonball, making them easy to track and intercept. Next-generation hypersonic missiles can fly low, below 60,000 feet, adjust their course in flight, and maneuver around anti-missile defense systems. Military analysts have called them unstoppable. Hypersonic weapons represent the most significant progress in missile technology since intercontinental ballistic missiles, said Dmitry Rogozin, the director of the Russian state space corporation Roscosmos. Russia is already testing the successor to Kinjal, which uses air-breathing engines to fly at speeds of up to Mach 9, further complicating its detection and defense. Overall, Russia is using or developing three hypersonic weapons, while China has three as well. The United States has yet to create a fully functional hypersonic missile, but reportedly, they are developing at least eight of them. While only a few hypersonic weapons are ready for combat, traditional missiles still dominate the battlefield. In Ukraine, smaller missiles have proven critical in defending the country against Russia. Meanwhile, Russia has used a multitude of conventional missiles to strike civilian targets. And considering Vladimir Putin's nuclear threats, long-range intercontinental missiles and their megaton warheads are just as relevant and dangerous as at any point in our atomic history. These are the top seven most dangerous missiles in the world. Hypersonic weapons lead the way, but some types of conventional weaponry still keep generals up at night. X-47 M2 Kinjal Russia broke the hypersonic missile barrier first by launching the Kinjal missile from a MiG-31 fighter jet earlier this year. Kinjal is a modified version of the Russian ground-based ballistic missile Iskander, but it has new aerodynamics and guidance systems that give it greater maneuverability. The improved tail section and control surfaces allow Kinjal to evade air defense systems, including American Patriot missiles. We had to create this weapon in response to the deployment of the U.S. Strategic Missile Defense System, which in the future would be capable of practically neutralizing, nullifying our entire nuclear potential," said Russian President Vladimir Putin in 2022, referring to his country's new hypersonic missiles. Kinjal can carry either a conventional warhead with 1,100 pounds of explosive material or a nuclear device with a yield of up to 500 kilotons and Russia seems intent on showcasing the capabilities of this weapon. This year, Russia launched at least 33 Kinjal missiles with conventional warheads during the war against Ukraine. The impact has been staggering. One of these missiles malfunctioned and fell on Russian territory, injuring six civilians, including a firefighter. Some military analysts even called Kinjal quasi-ballistic, suggesting it is less maneuverable than Russia claims. 3M22 Zircon. Soon, the first hypersonic weapon that launches and attacks solely using its own propulsion system will be deployed. Unlike Kinjal, which flies on a conventional rocket, the Russian Zircon uses a scramjet engine or air-breathing engine for supersonic combustion to achieve speeds of up to Mach 9. Unlike rockets, which are propelled by a combination of fuel and oxidizer, this air-breathing engine absorbs and compresses oxygen just like a jet engine. It is reported that the Zircon will carry nuclear or conventional warheads and has greater range and maneuverability than conventional Russian short-range missiles. Russia claims that this weapon can be launched from submarines and ships, and a ground-based version is also reportedly in development. In 2021, the commander-in-chief of the Russian Navy, Admiral Nikolai Yevmenov, stated that the weapon has problems that need to be resolved before it is ready for combat. Avangard Hypersonic Glide Vehicle According to Deputy Secretary of the Security Council of Russia Dmitry Medvedev, if Russia were to use nuclear weapons in a war against Ukraine, it would most likely be delivered by the country's newest hypersonic missile called Avangard. 
This hypersonic glide vehicle, also known as Object 4202, is carried on a conventional ballistic missile and then separates and glides at hypersonic speeds towards its target. Conventional warheads on intercontinental ballistic missiles follow predictable paths, making them easily interceptable. However, the Avangard has reactive control surfaces that allow it to change direction. Russian officials quoted by the news agency have stated that it is invulnerable to any missile defense system. It is reported that the Avangard can carry a warhead with a yield of two megatons, which is roughly twice as powerful as the most powerful nuclear weapon in the U.S. arsenal. Dongfeng-17 Like Russia, China is ambitiously developing hypersonic weapons. One of the most significant is the DFZF hypersonic glide vehicle, which is carried by the domestically developed DF-17 anti-ship missile. While U.S. carrier strike groups have defenses that can shoot down traditional missiles, this combination will be much more challenging. Unlike most ballistic missiles, the DF-17 has a quasi-ballistic trajectory. It flies at relatively low altitudes, below 60,000 feet or so, which makes it difficult to detect from long distances. The DFZF then separates and flies towards its target at speeds exceeding Mach 5. China developed the DF-17 based on an existing short-range ballistic missile, the DF-16B, and unveiled the new weapon in 2019 when it was transported by a 10-wheeled transporter erector launcher. China claims that the missile is already in service. This should concern opposing naval fleets. The concept of hypersonic air-breathing weapons, Hawk, started in 2017, the project aims to test three main aspects of hypersonic weapons. The development of a scramjet engine, improvement of aerodynamics, and the creation of more efficient thermal management systems needed to withstand extremely high temperatures during prolonged hypersonic flight. Another priority is to maintain low production costs. The Air Force has stated that they intend to procure a large quantity of this weapon as soon as it is ready. Like ARW, it will carry a conventional explosive warhead rather than a nuclear one, and it is likely to be used against military targets such as command centers, radars, surface-to-air missile systems, communication facilities, and ammunition depots. Based on the successful third test flight this year, the U.S. Air Force has announced that they will incorporate technologies developed under the Hawk program into their hypersonic air-launched cruise missile, HACM. The first hypersonic missiles are expected to be combat-ready by 2027. LGM-30, Minuteman 3. The American Minuteman 3 tops the list of the most formidable ballistic missiles. For 50 years, it has been the backbone of the U.S. nuclear ground-based arsenal and a crucial deterrent against nuclear attacks. With a range of over 6,000 miles and a speed exceeding Mach 23, the Minuteman can strike virtually any point on the globe, reportedly within 400 feet of the target. The initial Minuteman missiles introduced in the 1970s carried multiple warheads. However, since 2001, in accordance with international nuclear agreements, the Minuteman typically carries only one warhead with a yield of 350 or 475 kilotons. 40 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The U.S. claims that the accuracy of the weapon means it does not require such a large nuclear payload. AGM-183, a air-launched rapid response weapon, ARRW. As the U.S. tries to catch up with China and Russia's hypersonic missiles, one of the priorities is to develop a weapon capable of quickly striking ground targets. The current air-to-ground missile of the U.S. Air Force, JASM, is subsonic and may take 20 minutes to reach a target 250 miles away. The new hypersonic platform called ARRW will cover this distance in just one minute. ARRW is still in the testing phase, launched from an aircraft and uses a boost glide system. A conventional rocket accelerates it to Mach 5, then it separates and glides at high speed towards the target. In May and July of this year, the Air Force successfully conducted ARW tests with the B-52 bomber. After that, Air Force representatives suggested that the B-1 stealth bomber fleet and F-15 aircraft could also be armed with hypersonic ARW missiles. We appreciate you sticking around until the end. Subscribe to our channel and see you next time.